John here, guys, and today we're talking about the multi GP qualifier, and it is qualifier time, guys. Multi GP is a worldwide racing circuit, uh, whereas you can compete against all the other pilots across the entire globe. Once a year, they have a championship series. Now, not every pilot is considered pro class, which is typically the top 100, and on some years, the top 200 pilots on the global rankings. But even if you don't plan to travel across the country to nationals, you can still get ranked and benchmark yourself against all the other pilots in the world. I've done that in the past, I think this will be my fourth year doing the qualifier. And so in preparation, I thought I'd share some of the things that I'm doing to prepare. Now, number one, I'm building up some new quads. Now, this is kind of a no-no. Uh, ideally, I would have had the quads that I would have been running for the qualifier done back in January, February, and been practicing on them several months. Maybe I would have made a new version of those same exact components, but uh, yeah, I just decided to switch all of a sudden. Very recently, I got reintroduced to Analog Flying Freedom Spec, and I built this quad up for Freedom Spec only. It's running an all-in-one board in there, the CL Racing V3. I liked it so much that I wanted to build a fully 6S version of this, so this is the exact same. This is the Open Racer Pro. I have a full video on this coming up very, very soon. I'm running the Mamba race stack in here, 60 amp ESC with an F7 flight controller. I'm running the Team Black Sheep Pro 32 Nano in there for the video. I'm running the Foxier Lollipop Micro. And of course, the most popular racing camera. I have a video on this coming out very soon as well, the Predator V5 Nano. That is a fantastic analog camera. Now, both of these are running the 533 heads up motors. That means that both of these can be ran on open class and freedom spec. Freedom spec is the super popular spec racing that requires you to have a certain um, motor and you have to have a minimum weight. Uh, so I can run these on open class, which is qualifier. You can basically run any um, spec that you want. So this is going to be my main quad. Now, backups. I am going to be bringing my DJI Racers. This is the DJI that I ran last season. It has the RCN Power 2207 Plus motors on there, a Daytona Mamba stack, and there is a Cadex Vista unit on board. That is going to be a backup um, on the qualifier. I did run DJI last year. It was a little tricky, but I was able to get the job done. Being that these DJI units are so hard to find, I've started to convert some of my racing that I do to analog because I just can't afford to replace these units if I smash them. So I am going to be bringing both my DJI units. This is the new DJI racing unit that I made this year. This also has the Mamba Race, the 75 amp version in this one. This has the X Nova 2207 motors. This is essentially like an older version precursor to the heads up motor. So the flight feel across all three of these will be very, very similar. It's a slightly lower KV, but it's a great motor. And that way I do have some consistency. All these are running essentially the same frame. This is just a um, DJI pod. So arms, braces, and even motors are almost hot swappable. I am gonna have an extra set of motors that I'm gonna be bringing for these in case I need to make any swaps. And then as an absolute emergency quad, I'm bringing this. It's been ran for almost three seasons now, this Hyperlite Floss. Uh, three. Um, the brace is broken, but that's okay. The arms are still okay. This is only if everything else breaks and I still need to be able to compete until the end of the day. Hopefully I won't need this. In fact, these standoffs are still bent from the last time I crashed really hard into the uh, gate. The pod is uh, starting to see some damage, but hey, I'm still going to send it if I need to. Other things that I've done to prepare, it's going to be really, really hot down here in Houston. So I've gotten some hot weather shirts, those fishing style shirts with the long sleeves so I can protect myself from the sun. I learned last year that it's not just the heat, it's actually that sun beating down and you get that kind of heat stroke feel. And on a lot of these races, you are out in the sun for six, seven, eight hours at a time. I also have a little USB powered that also can run off of 18650s fans. I have a little table 
table tray on my flight chair and I can sit that fan on me. It's gonna be blowing cool air on me the entire time. I also have a large umbrella that can screw into the ground that I'm gonna be bringing with me as well to provide some shade. You gotta stay in the shade as much as possible or else you're gonna be fighting the sun instead of the other people on the race course. Now goals, I, I wanna set a goal anytime I'm going to do something. Um, and so last year my rank was about 255, which was pretty good. Uh, typically there's about a thousand people that run the qualifier. We'll see this year if there's gonna be less or more people due to the pandemic. Uh, things are starting to open up. Most people are vaccinated now and drone racing activities are typically outside. So you can be outside, you can space away from people at a safe distance. So it's really a nice activity to be able to continue during this time. So we'll see if I meet those goals or not. What are your goals? Are you gonna be running the multi-GP qualifier this year? And if you haven't been out to a race, now is a really good time to just go, even if you just go to observe. I'll tell you what guys, if you're able to change your video channel, if you're able to fly for a couple of minutes without tra crashing, you may wanna go check out one of these races and try it. Just get yourself ranked. Get yourself ranked at a low skill level. Next year, you can do it again. See how much you improve. I bet you'll be shocked if you keep flying. What do you think in the comments, guys? Uh, are you into racing? Are you into freestyling? Uh, you know, we have some of our freestylers come out for this series of events once a year benchmark themselves then go back into their freestyling seclusion uh, but it is nice to see all those folks i'm looking forward to hanging out with the rest of the crew that we don't typically always see at the night spot thanks guys